This switch will allow you to lock and unlock the doors with a quick press. Unlock, lock. This switch right here, when, the, when you unlock it, will allow you to pop the hatch and escape through the hatch or get out through the hatch if you need to without crawling up to the front. If you press this button for a long hold on the down, it will roll the windows down without the key in the ignition. And same goes true for pressing it on a long hold up, it'll roll the window up. So stay tuned, this will be the step-by-step -step version. If you're not interested in all the details in the video library, I do have the version that is shorter and it just gives an overview and the basic idea of what I did to install the kit. Thank you. I ordered this kit from a person on the Forerunner forums. His name is Jesse. I will actually put his information in the description below. But it is pre-wired and he also sends you a set of instructions to show you where to tap into the modules to allow you from the back uh, roll up or down the rear window as well as lock and unlock the hatch from this button. And then this button will allow you to pop the hatch. So if you need to get out quickly, you can do so. It holds in this little strap right here. The last two points of attachment are the lights, uh, electrical plugs going into those lights. So once you press that clip in and pull the plug to the side, it will release the trim panel from the hatch. Be careful after releasing that second light plug because that is the last point of attachment which means the panel is just hanging there and it'll come down quickly as you can see right there next step is the driver's side speaker which has five 10 millimeter bolts and it's not just a speaker which has three bolts it's actually five bolts so it's the whole outside it allows you access to the inside of the hatch right here This allows you access into the cavity of the hatch to route and run wires. Uh, peel back this weather stripping that runs around the inside trim piece. And then there's two grommets that have this wire loom. We're going to pry that off from the interior and from the hatch itself right here. Pull the weather stripping down off of the interior trim panel and uh, we're going to feed the wire up through that piece and then through that first rubber grommet which is pried off and then leading into that second rubber grommet which is also pried off so once the wire is fed up it's going to run the same route as the factory harness through the hatch channel which is extremely tight and you'll see when i try to do it and then i'll reroute the wires um, into the module which is right here Without a doubt, the hardest part of this job is fishing the wire through that small tight channel right there. So we're going to try to tackle this right now and see how it goes. All right, we got it, guys. So I have the hanger in through the speaker. I fish it through the channel. It runs all along here. It's very tight. And here's the hanger on the other side. So we're going to tape the wires to this hanger pull them through, 
hopefully they won't come apart and they'll come out here and then we'll route it along the factory wire and then we'll tap into the module and the three wires he indicated uh, the color and that will give us power to the switches for the hatch lock and the window. All right, going back to the wiring, we are taking the long part of the harness and we have three wires, which are the black, white, and red. I'm going to tape those to the wire hanger and pull those through. And then those are going to connect to the module. And I have everything all wired up. I ran the wires in behind the trim piece on the inside and then up through the grommet. I put a little slit in the grommet, ran it along the factory wiring, put a slit into this grommet up and then into the hatch channel where it comes all the way down and then comes out where the speaker was. I put a little hole into this grommet here and then ran the wire over. It's gonna get zip tied to the factory wiring as well here. And now you have to tap into these three wires uh, which are color coded and the supplied um, connections or taps were these, there were three of these and I wired everything up, tested it and it was not working. So I redid everything, tested it again, still was not working and I realized that these um, taps were not getting penetration into the wires. So let me show you what I'm going to use instead here. This is the original one that came with the uh, kit and these are positive taps. So I'm going to use these instead of these to tap into those three wires and we'll see if I have better success with that. Bingo guys. I removed the other taps and replaced them with the posi taps. It was a super simple uh, procedure to tap into the existing wire harness uh, to the module and everything is all wired up temporarily. Um, I'm gonna put everything in place, zip tie it, make it nice and neat, keep it out of the track uh, of the window and make sure it follows the original wiring here. I did just a temporary ground with an alligator clip so I can test everything out and everything is working perfectly. So I am going to start mount everything as it should be. I made a little cardboard template uh, according to the measurements of the directions and then I put it on the panel and traced it out here so that's where I'm gonna mount it and I'll put the button right below it I have everything all wired up and just want to show you how I ran the wires I got the posi taps into the module and then I ran the wire and zip tied it all along the factory wire harness so it follows that route and then it goes in through the grommet and through the channel and up through the hatch it comes outside this grommet and then i zip tied it to this harness it goes in through this grommet right here and then i pull back the weather stripping tucked it into the interior panel i removed this panel right here and did the wiring and the cutouts and you can see everything is mounted right here. You should always be prepared for an emergency situation or even just a situation that provides a little bit more uh, convenience for you during your camping experience. Uh, if you're in the middle of the night and you're in the back of your SUV, instead of crawling to the front, putting the key in the ignition, you have a couple options here. This switch will allow you to lock and unlock the doors with a quick press. Unlock, lock. This switch right here, when, the, when you unlock it, will allow you to pop the hatch and escape through the hatch or get out through the hatch if you need to without crawling up to the front. If you press this button for a long hold on the down, it will roll the windows down without the key in the ignition. And same goes true for pressing it on a long hold up, it'll roll the window up. This to me is a must have if you sleep out of the back of your SUV or your 4Runner. Stay tuned, hit subscribe, don't miss any of the videos coming out. I will try to put at least one video out per week and I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.